So a couple of months ago, Oculus sent me an Oculus Rift with their touch controllers, and I got super into Robo Recall. I haven't had that much arcade shooting fun in a long while, and I really loved playing the game, even if I was paid to show it off. But since then, I've logged well over 30 to 40 hours of playing VR games, and I've really enjoyed what I've played thus far. And a few weeks ago, me and my girlfriend really got into a cartoon show that I'm sure most of you guys really know well by now called Rick and Morty. The show is unstoppable. It's truly a wonderful comedic masterpiece. In fact, while I was at PAX East this year, they had a Rick and Morty VR game available for people to try. And it turns out that game actually came out a couple of months months ago. So I thought, now that I have an Oculus Rift and the game came out and I'm super into the show, yo, I would really love to talk about Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality. So Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality is a game- Oh, sorry, one second here. Go for Gerard. Oh, hey, Mr. Oculus Marketing Guy, what's up? Oh, you found out that I was going to make a video on Rick and Morty and now you just want to pay me money to make the video? Hell yeah, that sounds awesome, let's go! But only if I can spend all of the budget on a stupid 3D title sequence with awful air horns and music. What was that? You're down? Let's go! <gasps> Whoa, this video is brought to you by Oculus! Get an Oculus Rift Plus Touch for the Summer of Rift promotion at an affordable price of $3.99! You can play such awesome games such as Super Hot VR, Robo Recall, and Blocks! A brutal game about Blocks! The Oculus Rift Plus Touch! Buy one today! Where do you get one, you ask yourselves? Well, the link to get one is in the description down below! Buy the Oculus Rift Plus Touch today, or else your neighbor Martha's dog will judge you indefinitely! And you wouldn't want that, would you? Oculus Rift Plus Touch, because you want to please your neighbor's dog! <laughs> Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality is a game that stars you playing as a Morty clone, specifically designed to serve the original Rick and Morty. The game takes place entirely in Morty's garage, although it contains several elements of traveling through different portals to access different locales. Without a doubt, the clear shining star of the game is the writing and vocal performances. Right now, because me and Morty have to go, the, 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 some stuff's gotten out of hand. Just looking at Rick and Morty making fun of you before you even begin the game just sets the tone for how the rest is going to go. Now with the limited physical space of the Oculus, the game is a little bit limited on how to move. You can teleport around the room into three different places, the laundry area, the work table, and the supply rack. I think it's given to say that having the best setup for your Oculus is incredibly important, but it's even more so important for Rick and Morty as you'll be picking up a lot of items off the ground or from hard to reach places. And while the game recognizes that you want the item you're pointing towards, sometimes it just won't come to you. Luckily, the developers knew this would be an issue and incorporated a Mr. Meeksix box to get you those hard to reach items. I'm Mr. Meeksix, look at me. You can actually spawn a lot of them at one time if you'd like, and killing them is quite funny. Although, unlike the show, you have to end their lives after they fulfilled their duties, not them. Speaking of Mr. Meeksies, you kind of are one in this game. The whiteboard to your left acts as your current objective, telling you what to do almost all of the time. At some point, you'll be given a smartwatch that is your communication device for Rick and Morty. Aside from moving forward throughout the plot by listening to the two of them talking to you, this device will help you throughout the entire game. Anytime you are lost or are confused, you can simply look at the watch and for the most part, you'll get comedic gold telling you where to go or what to do next. The green and blue box on the shelf there, that should help you out. Even an idiot could figure this one out. Right. Rick and Morty has layers upon layers of references, jokes, and moments straight from the show. It's fascinating how spot on they were on this game's execution. I haven't laughed that hard in a while while playing a game in probably ever. They even have a game called Troy, which is a VR home simulator version of the Rick and Morty arcade game Roy. What the hell? What, what, where am I? 55 what in the years. Hell? Not bad, Morty. The overall point of Rick and Morty's VR adventure is that you're a clone which has to serve the purpose of the two protagonists. And frankly, they don't give a crap about you. 
In fact, there will be many moments where you'll have to go to hell. And I can't honestly remember the last time I enjoyed dying in a video game, scripted or not. Rick and Morty VR absolutely would not work normally with standard controls. It was designed with VR in mind, and honestly, that's great. Using the cloning device with the controller would not be nearly as fun. The activities are endless, and they feel super fun to do because not only is the entire game a massive nod to one of the best freaking cartoon shows of all time, but the gameplay incorporates all of the wonderful elements of the show into itself. There were so many aha moments I had when I figured out what to do next. I felt like I was challenged to not look at my watch unless I absolutely had to. There's an entire mini game that focuses on movement. You have to activate as many of the knobs and gadgets as quick and as fast as you can. And at first, that was super stressful. But once I got the hang of it, whew, I was having a great old time. And I found myself wanting to do it again and again. On the other hand, there was one segment where I was legitimately confused for maybe 30 to 45 minutes. It involved connecting these two pieces to the rest of an electric board with some specific regulations and requirements. I felt like a complete idiot when I finally figured it out, even though I thought it was way harder than it needed to be. And I have to admit, I am a little bit under the recommended amount of room I need when I'm playing with my Oculus, so take it from me, don't be like me, and make sure you have enough room for when you're playing these games. Yes, I did need more room, but I still felt like even after making that room, I still had problems trying to pick up and grab items from hard to reach places. And since there's not really a good moving mechanic in the game, you'll accumulate junk very quickly, especially as you're fulfilling or failing objectives. The game is about trial and error as you move throughout it. And at times, because you are in VR, you can start to feel overwhelmed or maybe even claustrophobic. But this is something that can easily be addressed in future titles like Rick and Morty. The game is truly an objective puzzle solving game which is way different than that of Robo Recall, or let's say Super Hot VR, obviously. And in its own way, it's just as fun. I do miss the high octane feeling when using the Oculus, and there is a section later on in the game that acts as a shooting segment, which should hopefully satiate your need for the over-the-top violence. Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality was made for Rick and Morty fans, and it's kind of made for completionists too, as it has a lot of post-game content such as collectibles and getting higher scores for unlockables. I had such a genuine good time playing this game, I feel like it's worth its $3 price tag. It's one of those games that you'll get a lot more from each playthrough as you revisit it. So if you've got an Oculus Rift, I recommend picking this bad boy up. And if you don't have an Oculus Rift, you know what to do to get one, brother. Click that link in the description down below. Don't piss off Martha. Don't piss off her dachshund. Make peace with the animals and pick up an Oculus Rift today. That's it. That's all, guys. I hope you liked today's video. And hey, if you liked the ad we did, let us know in the comments below. We got one more VR video on Star Trek coming out in August, so get hyped for that. I'll see you guys next time.